Welcome back to daytime. So much happening in Ottawa this year. It's always so exciting. We're going to talk about another event called Ottawa Fit 150. With me is Kendra Sheedy. Thank you so much for being here. You are communications coordinator with the city of Ottawa. And this is kind of really exciting because there's various facilities in the city doing various things that kind of revolve around fitness, but also the 150. Yeah, absolutely. So it's actually a series of events that we put together. Um, we have 23 fitness facilities all across the city and numerous pools, indoor and outdoor. So our team kind of got together and said, why don't we create some unique events that we don't normally offer and challenge the communities to get out there and uh, residents to participate and create a special memory for Canada's birthday. I think it's really fabulous. And the other beautiful thing about this is that you, you really are extending these activities throughout the whole city because you've got recreation centers you know all the way out east where I live yeah you know, all the way out there's uh, you know near um, Brian Coburn all the way out to the West End clear sure. off across the city so no matter where you live you can really participate in this. absolutely we have stuff in Barhaven um, happening in near Saint Laurent in Orleans uh, Canada anywhere you live there should be something near you um, everything's listed online though yes. we also have some maps online if you aren't sure which facility is the closest to you and the best part is I mean I haven't seen all of them but yeah from what I heard all of them offer free parking yes which is Fabulous when you're right? planning Isn't an event. Isn't that such a perk? It, I isn't know. Isn't it funny? Like yeah. that, I'm thinking about it thinking, okay, that's going to be really exciting because I know I can just go and not worry about having to drive. Absolutely, yeah, for sure. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about some of the themes or some of the sure. events going on. So some of, so they're not all Canadian themed, but we definitely have some Canada themed fitness events such as Red and White Canada uh, 150, which is you show up to your regularly programmed fitness class, but you're wearing red and white. Oh, fun. Um, so we've had some really interesting, um, fun classes themed around that. Uh, we also have one, it's a fitness class uh, themed around Canadian activities so they're gonna do you know moves that are going to target your core to help you with hockey or carrying your Timmy's tray or shoveling so very Canadian activities. Cute. Um, and then some of them aren't Canada themed at all but they're just different from a normal experience um, that you would get from our fitness program, so a zombie relay race. You know, you may have done a relay race, but not with zombies, not dressed as a zombie, right? Interesting. Yeah, and some outdoor programs as well, so people really like uh, taking their fitness outside, we found. Mm -hmm. So some yoga under the stars, uh, some Zumba in the park, things like that. Wonderful. Yeah. And so if you wanted to know what's happening at your facility or any facility in mm -hmm. the city, um, you can just go to the website, right? Absolutely. So it's ottawa.ca slash fitness. Okay. And all the events are listed there with a description of what the event is, the price. So some of them are actually, thanks to participation, some of them are actually free. Beautiful. So August 11th, we have some coming up. There's, I think, three different free fitness events happening on August 11th. So all the information yes. is on the website. No, and I have them here, actually, because yeah. you said August 11th, and I pulled that up this morning. So August 11th, there is a free party with baby class at Ray Friel, which is in my end of town, at 10.30 yeah. to 11.30. So that's in the East End. Tons of free parking there. Free Zumba Beach Party at Richcraft Recreation Complex. I don't know what end of town that one is. That's Richcraft. in Canada. That one's in yep. Canada. There you go. From 6.30 to 8 p.m., which is says inspired by the beach so that's gonna be yeah. really exciting yeah and there's a free core conditioning red hot abs at plant recreation center and what part of town is that one is plant you... it's East End East End yeah. there you go from noon to 1 and it says here wear red yeah so that's just you know a small example of what you can find for sure that's free yeah. Uh, going and a lot on. of our other programs, it's if you're um, a member anyways, a fitness membership, yeah. if you have one of those, it's included in the price, uh, or you can pay a drop-in fee as well, which is $7.50 for a senior uh, student or youth, um, and $8.75 for an adult. Very good. Mm -hmm. Now, we have to mention that this isn't just a weekend thing. This is actually happening right up until December 31st. Yes, absolutely. So we, we kicked off June 3rd um, with National Health and Fitness Day. That's when we launched and said, here's all the events we're going mm -hmm. to be programming, and we're going to keep adding events as well throughout the year so keep checking back if there's nothing that you don't see now um, one of the really exciting ones I forgot to mention is our 150 birthday swim okay so that's where you can go to any of the participating facilities again they're all listed online okay we got a great photo on, on screen <laughs> yeah yeah so that's our lifeguards uh, that participated and they got their recognition certificates so swim 150 meters okay. and you let the lifeguard know at the facility and they'll give you a recognition certificate that you can keep as a memento and we'll also so post one on our wall at that facility. That's really exciting because a lot of this revolves around community, which I think is, for sure. I think this year with the 150th, there's a lot of, we're going out 
more. We're in our own city because we're lucky enough, fortunate enough to be in the capital. Yeah. It, and this, I think, just falls nicely into that, that yeah. it's just very community oriented. I think, you know, can, as Canadians, we have a lot of pride and yeah. community pride as well as Ottawans. So I think you kind of fit the two together and yeah. people can get out there, get active and engaged in their community and get excited about, you know, a really special year. Well, just so you know, if you want to think, see what's coming up ahead, September 15th, there's belly dancing at Riff Real. September 14th, all the toys TMC. I wonder what that's all about. A Walter Baker. Something about toys is exciting. Do you know what that one's all about? That's just like all the gadgets you saw earlier with uh, Kathleen. Yes. So they bring out all the toys and you oh, get to try them all out. Super fun. October 28th, interval training, costume madness. I guess we have to get dressed up for that one. Yep. Exciting. And then October 30th, a free zombie ride. At Canada Leisure Center. Yeah, so ride. indoor cycling. Okay. Just as zombies. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so much fun. So yeah. be sure to go to the website, find out what's happening in your area or any area, and uh, get fit and have some fun in your community. Thank you so much for joining us today, Thank Kendra. you so much. We're going to take a quick break, and when we come back, we're going to talk about sleep and children. Stay with us. You're watching Daytime.